will do this body scan meditation okay so it asks you to close your eyes and trace your entire body which calms us Oh, give it a second. Uh, can you see my screen? Uh, let's it says let's start by calming ourselves. Yeah, let's start by calming ourselves, right? We'll follow the video. Uh, I can't make any video. Now you can. I can play the music, but I can't. You can't see the video, Arya. You can't. Okay. How about now? bottles you can see glass bottles okay what's inside those glass bottles uh i don't i i'm not sure okay these are glitters right inside the glass bottles it's glitter so what's the difference between glass number 1 glass number 2 and glass number 3 so glitters are sparkles right all those shiny sparkles so what is the difference between these three what can you see you can see the one number one is has a lot of uh, number one is lab number one has a lot of glitters number two a lot has of glitters okay medium uh, it also has a lot of glitters and and three has uh, a little amount of glitters okay so but the thing you know what anirudh the amount of glitters in all the three glasses are the same okay so when you are shaking the glass then you see number 1 because it's all over see it's gone all over and then you've kept the glass so they have started settling down the glitters have started settling and then ultimately when you don't touch it at all they have all settled at the bottom but the amount of glitters are just the same okay just that you are shaking the first one so it's going all over the place like this then you put the second one without touching it so it started set settling down okay and you think it's a little bit less and in the end when you don't touch it at all it's all settled at the bottom right you know what we what i'm trying to talk about here i'm actually talking about feelings here okay feelings and a lot of thoughts and stress so uh, do you feel stress any times anirudh like tomorrow is your archery competition are you stressed about it no no so what are your feelings right now i am excited you're excited that's excellent so, so that's a positive way of looking at things i'm a person who feels very stress before something okay with before something major so that is something i have to learn from you and erod that you're excited so i uh, we're using these glitter jars so these these are called the calming jars okay so i'll put the uh, these are calming jars so what do they do it basically shows you how whenever you are thinking about a lot of things and like a lot of stress a lot of anxiety and a lot of negative th thoughts going on in your head your head looks like the first jar so oh, these glitters are your negative thoughts all the thoughts that are like bad thoughts so these are going on in your mind okay but sometimes you need to like meditate or breathe like we do breathing exercises body scan exercises sometimes we need to breathe and just relax for a bit and all these negative th thoughts start settling down and ultimately you become a little bit calm so see most of it becomes white a little bit is blue obviously so again good thoughts come in and bad thoughts are there 
which you can work on later but otherwise if you're always like in pressure and you're always not constantly moving and not giving yourself any time to pause and relax and breathe then it looks like the first one right so what is your mind right now is it like jar one jar two or jar three what do you think right now is it jar one jar two or jar, jar three Oh, you're on mute. I don't feel like anything. You don't really feel like anything right now? Okay, that's fine. That means you're on a balanced state, okay? You might be in half and half right now. That's okay. But whenever you're feeling too many things at the same time, always remember to just breathe, calm down, and relax, and meditate maybe. That helps a lot, okay? So, moving on. Today, we're going to read something. Can you read uh, what's written on top in yellow? The name of the story we're going to read today. Okay. Can I fill my water bottle and come? Here's... Hey, sorry, I think I just dropped out a little bit. Shall I, shall I fill my water bottle? Yeah, yeah, sure. Uh, okay, can you unmute yourself and read what's written on top in yellow? Uh, unmute. Blocking Beethoven. Beethoven. Yes. We're going to read this first and we're going to do one slide I will read, one slide you will read, okay? And then we have a few questions. So I want you to really pay attention to what we are reading today, okay? So, Michaela dropped her head onto her open math book, crossed her arms, so her shoulders blocked her ears and groaned. Her room was practically vibrating from her brother Liam, practicing piano again, and there was no way that she could focus on math. With all of that noise, mom, she shouted, Liam is playing way too loud again. So what are the two people here? There's Michaela, and then there's Liam. Michaela is trying to do math, right? But then well, finally, what she did, she crossed her shoulders and like put her head into the math book because the room was practically vibrating from Liam, who is uh, her brother, who was practicing what? What instrument was he practicing? Piano. Piano. And uh, she couldn't focus on uh, math. So she said, Mom, Liam is playing way too loud again. Okay, now your turn to read. Can you shall see? I, shall I read it on my mind? No, read it out loud. Michaela mom popped her head into the room. Sorry, honey. She said, Were you calling me? Yes, Michaela answered. I am surprised you heard me since Liam's making. So much noise. I can't study for tomorrow's math test when he's banging away on the, that piano. Right, said Michaela's mom thoughtfully. It seems we need a way to find, we need to find a way for everyone to get their work done at the same time because Liam needs to practice for his recital on Saturday. Do you need to? recital and you need to test your math test okay so recital is basically recitation okay so when you have like a recital so he has a recitation uh, probably a competition on saturday and you have to ace your math test what do we mean by ace uh, what do, what do we mean by ace your math test 
Do you know? Can you hear me? Ace is basically when you have to, you get basically very good marks, like get an A, okay? Are you paying attention? Are you understanding? Yes. What does ACE mean? ACE means to getting, getting good marks, good grades. Yes, getting like A's, all A's, okay? So good grades. So we'll give a little bit of more expression while reading, okay, Anirudh? So we'll say, sorry, honey, were you calling me? Yes, Michaela uh, Mikhail answered. I'm surprised you heard me since Liam's making so much noise. I can't study for tomorrow's math test when he's banging away on the piano. Right, said Michaela's mom thoughtfully. It seems we need to find a way for everyone to get their work done at the same time because Liam needs to practice for his recital on Saturday and you need to ace your math test. Okay, so we'll give a little bit more expression while reading. Okay. Go ahead, Anirudh. Michaela's mom popped her head. Wait, wait. Uh, I've changed the slide. Can you, can't you see it? Yeah. Okay, wait for a bit. When it uh, when the slide changes, then read. No, no, no. Now I can. Let's think about this. Her mom continued. Sound is, sound is energy. By the vibration of an object, when Liam hits the a piano key, a tiny hammer strikes a metal string in the piano, causing it to vibrate. The vibration of the string causes the surrounding air to vibrate. And those vibrations travel through air as sound waves. I, well, I'm drowning in these, in those sound waves, Michaela said. Yes. So what is happening now? Michaela's mom is explaining to her how she can hear the sound till, you know, when someone is creating the sound in the basement, how can you hear the sound? So she's saying, let's think about this. Sound is energy created by vibration of an object. So something, if you like keep moving again something, so that is created, created by vibration, right? Do we know what vibration is? You, when your phone is on vibration mode, right? Okay. When Liam hits a piano key, a tiny hammer strikes a metal string in the piano. So these, all these piano keys right here, they are, uh, if you open up a piano, okay, that black part which is there uh, like this, if you open up the piano, you will see all these keys are uh, attached to a metal string in the piano, which causes it to vibrate. So that creates the sound of the piano. The vibration of the string causes the surrounding air. So the air around you to vibrate and those vibrations travel through air as sound waves, right? So how is... So the fact that I'm talking, again, it's basically reaching you through air because what is around me? Air, right? So air vibration is taking the sound waves to you, right? So then we're saying, well, I am drowning in those sound waves, said Michaela. Okay. Again, I've changed the slide. When it changes for you, you can go ahead and read. Yeah. As you notice, the sound waves eventually reach her ears. Yes. Now I can't see your screen. Now I can. Here up to her ears. Our outer ear funnels by other vibrations in the air into the middle of our ears. Where our eardrum sits. Our eardrums then begin to vibrate in the same pattern. The vibration of our eardrums results in signals that our brains interpret as sound. And interpret that, as sound? As sound. That's 
and that's what it is interpreting or um, interpreting new homework. You're not being careless. Okay, so can you please make uh, can you please make him stop? Maybe you can figure out a way how to interrupt that process. Interrupt that process. What do you mean by interrupt, Anirudh? I bet my uh, tongue so I can't speak well. Sorry? Uh, I I bet my tongue today is more. Okay, okay. So that's... Uh, so, it's so I can't uh, read properly. All right, that's fine. But can you tell me what, in, what you think interrupt means? I know what is interrupt. What is interrupt and what is interpret? I want to uh, read some, uh, do some, uh, read something and tell. Yes. Tell. So break, interpret something as to understand something. Okay. To decode something, and interrupt is to stop something. Right. Pause something. Interrupt. Okay. So we have learned that whenever some object is making vibrations, it is traveling through the air and the air is air molecules are start vibrating through which we hear. But now we're seeing what happens in our ears. So it says that when the sound waves through the air, they are reaching our ears, our outer ear funnels the vibration in the air into the middle of our ears. So from our outer ear, what happens? It goes into the middle of our ears where our eardrum sits. Have you heard of the eardrum before? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So what happens in our eardrum? Our eardrums also then begin to vibrate. Okay. In the same way that the object and the air was vibrating, the, our eardrums also starts vibrating. So right now your eardrums are vibrating because you're hearing me speak. Then, uh, the vibration of our eardrums result in signals that our brain interprets as sound. So those vibrations, what happened to the eardrum after vibrations? It sends a signal to, where does it say, send a signal to? Our eardrums start vibrating, then it sends a signal to where, Anirudh? I don't know. It's there on the screen, Baba. To our brain. Our eardrums then begin to vibrate in the same pattern and it sends a signal to our brain. So, see, if I'm pushing you, wherever I'm pushing you as well, that nerve or that portion has to send a signal to the brain for you to understand that I'm pushing you. So, all of these understanding and thinking of your body, your brain does, right? So sometimes the brain is not working for so some old people when the brain is not working, maybe what is happening is even if you get hurt, you'll be not able to understand that you have gotten hurt. Why? Because the brain cannot interpret the hurt. So whatever happens to your physical body, the brain has to interpret it for you. So even the fact that you're eating food, you're hearing sounds, the brain has to interpret and then only you'll understand that you're eating or you're hearing. You get it? Same with seeing. I'm seeing Anirudh. So how do I know that I'm seeing Anirudh? Because my eyes are sending a signal to the brain and my brain is telling me that I'm seeing Anirudh. Okay? Did we understand that? Yes. Okay. And then what's happening? And that's what is interrupting your homework. You're not kidding, Michaela said. So can you please make him stop? Maybe we can figure out a way to interrupt the process. Then you can get your studying done. So now they're coming up with a plan how to interrupt him so that uh, she can study, right? She can read, do math. Okay, uh, read. Uh, okay, fine, I'll read it. Can you see my screen? Yes. Okay. Mom, that's easy. Let me explain. Michaela said, in her most grown up and patient voice. Okay, so patient means she was calm. She was not in a hurry. She was very patient. First, you tell Liam to stop hitting the piano keys with his finger. Then the keys won't cause the hammer to hit the strings and the strings won't vibrate and there will be no sound waves. 
flooding into my ears and ruining my chances of getting into university. So she is basically being very sarcastic here. What is she saying? She's like, okay, so do one thing. You go there and ask Liam to stop hitting the piano keys so that the air doesn't vibrate, my your drum doesn't vibrate, and then my wind doesn't vibrate. And then so that I uh, have some chance of getting into the university. Okay, she's giving the exam to get into the university now. Very funny girl, mom said with a smile. We could uh, silence the piano by stopping the strings from vibrating. But then Liam would get the practice that he needs. However, the sound vibrations have to travel through the air to reach our ears. How can we block that? Okay. So it's basically mom is saying, but then Liam also needs to practice. But how can we stop the sound from coming upstairs? Like because the air will obviously bring the sound upstairs. What do you think? Can you come up with any solution here? Because I want to do math. There's someone in the basement who is uh, constantly playing piano. How are we going to fix that? How are you going to make the sound vibration stop? Hmm. You You're not paying attention not today. Um, you can't you? stop. I mean, you can't. You can't. Stop. You can't stop. Stop. Unstop. You can't think of any idea how to reduce the sound. No. No. Okay. Then let's see what happens. Headphones. 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 Like... Okay. So no, headphones is headphones, a... not headphones. I have something like this. Earplug. Yeah. Earplugs. We're talking about earplugs. Okay. Let's see what idea they have. Okay. Uh, has the screen changed for you? No. Now yet. Okay. okay. Michaela covers her ears. Why does he have to play so loud? Hmm. I guess closing your door is not going to solve our problem. So what did they first try? They first tried closing the door. Michaela's mom conceded, so she agreed. Vibrating air outside of your room is causing your walls to vibrate. So even if you close the door, the air is causing the walls to vibrate, which is causing the door to vibrate. And then, so you can still hear the piano. We made it quieter, but so it, it became a little less loud, but still not quite enough. Well, can't you just tell Liam to practice more quietly? Michaela asked. Okay, so she's like, can't you just tell Liam to practice a little bit quietly? Now. Okay. Yes, what do you think they're going to try next? They've tried the door. They've tried shutting the door, but the air was vibrating. So the door was vibrating. The sound became a little bit better, but it was not quite enough for a meal study. What, uh, okay, apart from earplugs, what do you think they should try? Uh, there's something like there's something that we put in uh, fix it in our ears like headphones and we can't hear anything with that so what about the vibrations that are happening around you so will that can you do something about that not really you want to see what they try next no uh, uh, make a soundproof room for her. Oh, yes. Excellent. So you make a soundproof room in the garage, right? In the basement. So you can put like cushions in the wall. So you know what people do in movie theaters? Did, do you see the uh, how the walls are? The walls yeah. are really like carpet. There's carpet in the walls. which uh, And there's carpet on the floor as well, which doesn't let the sound travel a lot. Right? So otherwise the movie hall, so if you play a movie in a movie hall, the entire mall will be able to hear or the entire place will be able to hear, right? But they block the sound by putting carpet on the walls, by putting carpets on the floor, because you know what carpets do? They absorb the sound. They don't let it go out. Okay. Let's see what they try next. They also look sure, good. Sure, mom replied. Also look good, yes. Okay. Next we see. Sure, mom replied. 
that energy something makes uh, when it vibrates produces sound waves that have a definite pattern so obviously if you're vibrating like this if the object is vibrating like the piano keys then the air also starts vibrating like this your ear drums also st starts vibrating all in the same pattern okay if liam hits the piano keys harder then the string vibrates with more energy and the sound waves are larger obviously if you put press it harder there will be more vibration so more sound when he plays lightly he reduces the energy of the string vibration creating a smaller quieter sound waves i could ask him to play more quietly but i don't think it would solve our problem completely yeah mikela ek groan no matter how gently he plays the high notes they make my teeth hurt okay so she is saying the sound is making my teeth hurt okay so what are they saying about playing like uh, loudly and quietly uh, anirudh can you hear me yes i what are they saying about playing even loudly and even if he yeah? plays louder uh, if he plays uh, even if he reduces the you know, the sound Uh, they mm -hmm. can hear. Hmm. They can hear it, right? So fine. Has the screen changed for you? No. Okay. Just tell me when it has. Now it has. Okay. That's a bit melodramatic. Do we know what uh, melodramatic is? Melodramatic is very over dramatic. Okay. Do you know what over dramatic is? Yeah. Do you know what is over dramatic? Being very dramatic. Okay. So uh, over dramatic and melodramatic has a little bit of uh, difference, which is both mostly like you're being exaggerating your emotional whatever you're feeling. Like if you're feeling happy, you're just exaggerating it. Or if you're feeling sad, you're exaggerating it. So that's being dramatic. Because she said the sound is making my teeth hurt. So that's why Michaela's mom is saying that's a bit melodramatic. High and low notes do vibrate differently. If a sound has a higher pitch, then it means the sound wave is vibrating awesome. much faster. Or has a higher frequency. Okay, this uh, this portion you will have to read. Okay. Yeah. Uh, this uh, Anurudh, just try to read this portion because otherwise uh, you will not understand. Just read once. I'll explain. That's a bit melodramatic. Michaela's mom quoted, "High and low notes do not do vibrate differently. If a sound has higher pitch, then it means the sound wave is vibrating much faster, or much or has a high frequency. The frequency pitch vibrates lower and sounds deeper. Liam needs all of the keys to practice, though, so we can." Ask him to play in the low notes. Great. So I just so I just fail my math test. Then how would you say that? Great. So I just fail. It's not like that, right? How will you say this line? Oh, uh, great. So so I just fail my math test again. Yes, very good. Michaela side then. No, that's not the answer, Mom. How can we figure out? Her. No, that's not the answer. Mom reassured her. How can we figure out a way to reduce <coughs> vibration? That that your ears are that you exposed to. So exposed to is open to. that your ears are uh, facing like open to how are we supposed to reduce those vibrations oh okay michaela said in frustration she was so frustrated right now okay maybe i'll just wrap my head in a giant marshmallow 
Okay, she's like, I will just maybe wrap my head in a giant marshmallow so that I get to study. She's become very like impatient and frustrated right now. So what did we say about Pianero? So if something is vibrating like tuck, 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 okay, like this, then it has a low pitch, okay? A low frequency pitch if a, something vibrates like this. So that will make a very low sound. Okay, Anirudh. So, but if something is vibrating very fast, like this, 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 then it will make a very high sound. For example, the school bell. What do you think it has a high frequency or low frequency pitch? No, I... High, huh? high frequency, I think. School bell, high frequency. What, what about the meow of a cat? High frequency, low frequency? Both. It can be high or low, but mostly low, okay? Frequency, it creates a very high frequency, it creates a very loud noise. I don't think um, the meow of a cat is extremely loud, okay? It can be high pitch, so like a shrill sound, but not very high, okay? All right. What happens in the end? That's it, mom exclaimed dashing out of the room okay so she stormed out of the room hearing the back door slam michaela went to the window and saw mom heading into her woodworking shop in the backyard okay so it was more of like a you know in america they have these wooden like tree house sort of a thing outside yes. their house. Yes. yeah yes. so that's that's the woodworking workshop you're talking about it's not that in home alone oh yeah yeah exactly in home alone True. And then, marshmallows are the answer, she cried. Holding up a bulky pair of earmuffs she used when operating missionary in the shop. See, you were right, Anirudh. These earmuffs have a tough outer shell, but inside they are filled with soft foam that design not to vibrate at frequencies when we can hear. Give them a try. Michaela put on the big earmuffs and Beethoven uh, was instantly silenced. So Beethoven is basically the name of a musician, okay? So they are just being sarcastic here by saying that Liam was Beethoven, okay? So that they are saying Beethoven was instantly silenced. Michaela gave mom a thumbs up. Marshmallows were the answer indeed. Okay, so Beethoven is basically an extremely famous music creator, okay? So suddenly they're like, okay, thank God, now Beethoven is silenced. They're actually talking about Liam. Okay, so did you like this story? Yes. Yes? Do you think it was nice? But then they should have come up with your solution way before. They were take so much time to come up with a solution. Okay, so we have a few questions now, Anirudh, and I want you to try answering them. Can you read the question number one? If something is vibrating very quickly, it will likely have a low sound pitch like tuba, have a real quick beat like dance music, have a real, really high sound like a flute. Uh, it have, likely have, uh, has a real quick beat like dance music. Okay, if something is vibrating very quickly, it will actually have a really high sound, like a flute. That will be the answer, okay? But I understand why you've chosen that. But mostly it is, have a really, so a very vibrating, quickly vibrating will have a high sound, not a quick sound, okay? Like a flute. Read okay, the next one. Anirudh, need, read the next one. If something is vibrating very slowly, it will likely have uh, enough energy to vibrate your eardrum. No. Not have enough energy to vibrate your eardrum. No. So even if the sound is low, it will vibrate your eardrum. Can you uh, 
think of one more answer. Which one do you think? Last one. No, it's basically sound very deep and low like a fog horn. Okay. Do we know what a fog horn is? No. Okay. Let's look at a fog horn, okay? These are the fog horns. Have you heard of fog horn before? Can you show me a bigger picture? Okay. I am uh, showing, I'm making here how a fog horn sounds. No, I, I asked for a better look. Better look. Can you see? No. Okay, wait for a bit. Yeah. This is the sound of the fog horn. Okay. Did you hear that? Yes, but I have never heard about fog horn. Okay. So, this fog horn has a very, is it a very high pitch uh, sound or low pitch sound? High. No, it's very low. Loud is, you know, something is very shrill. Okay. When it's Why like. Why is the fog horn used? Sorry? Why is the fog horn used? Fog horn is used in many things actually. Here, if you see, you'll be able to understand. Where where do you see it? Where is it? The last pillar. No, where uh, where is it kept? In lighthouses. In light uh, are these light okay and and can you see on top of a building and but it's near the sea? Yes. Okay, so why do you think that's used? So basically, the look out the uh, look out to the sea. They are basically the sun that guides the boats and ships. Okay, so that they don't sometimes they don't collide with each other. Okay. okay. So mostly used for guiding boats and ships. Foghorns are used. Okay, and they have a very bland. Sound. Okay, so if something is vibrating very slowly, it will create a. It has a deep sound, but it's a very low sound, right? It's not as shrill as a bell, or it's not as uh, shrill like a flute. A flute has like a king that sound, but this is like a very bass sound, right? Yes. Yes. Okay. Third one. Third one, Anirudh. What is a vacuum? As described in the story, a machine for cleaning carpets, a space uh, that is completely empty of particles, including a, a room that is so noisy that you cannot hear yourself think. Second one is the answer. Yes, very good. So, uh, so a vacuum is a space that is completely empty of all particles. So even the air is not there. So it's completely vacuum. Is our space vacuum? I can't hear you. Yes, I, I really need to use the wash. Okay, okay, yeah. go. 